Last but not least. Last one. You guys ready for the last one? What you looking at? Don't have these yet. Okay, because because I do, and your kids are all going to have them. And uh, probably in the next five or ten years, you're going to be using them in business. They're not going to look like this anymore, though. They're probably going to look like these glasses I've got on my face. And anytime that happens, anytime something big comes along, like the phones you all have or the computers we all grew up with, um, totally different ways of figuring out how apps work have to happen. People have to figure out how to write software for it. People have to figure out how to um, make sure people like what they're doing. With these, you also have to figure out whether people are going to throw up when they're, when they're wearing them, too, because sometimes it can be a little motion sick when you're, when you're using VR. Um, but I'm excited to introduce a company tonight that's all about figuring out how to make software work in VR. And it's going to be the software that your kids are going to grow up with because these really are what everyone's going to wear uh, every day all day, it might not even be on your head, it might be glasses, it might be contact lenses, but people are going to be surrounded by virtual and artificial reality. And this is a company uh, founded by two cool people, Jeff and Josh, that are going to help test the software that you're going to use. And I want you to listen closely, I know it's the last one of the night, um, but they're a great company and they have a lot, uh, a lot to, to tell you about. So please welcome Fishbowl VR. Song. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Hi, my name is Jeff Scow. I'm co-founder of Fishbowl VR, testing and analytics for virtual reality. So when Facebook paid more than $2 billion, about a year and a half, for Oculus, a company without a consumer-ready product, they really lit the fuse on an explosion in VR content that begins in earnest over the course of the next three to five months as headsets from all the major players in this space come out. And the reason for this excitement really boils down to this idea of presence, the ability to take a user, put them in a virtual world, and make it feel real. But it is a lot easier said than done. And there are hundreds, if not thousands, of ways to break this sense of presence and pull users out of this, uh, this sense of immersion. And what's frustrating is that unlike you know, film or television or video games, where we have years or even decades of experience figuring out what works and what doesn't, we don't have that luxury with VR. So there's gonna be this long and steep learning curve as developers face the brand new opportunities and brand new challenges of this brand new medium. And that's why usability testing is really gonna take center stage, long a valued tool of web developers and mobile developers. VR developers are gonna need large, diverse, and replenishing groups of people on whom to test their content. And that's where we come in. We've built a usability testing platform and seeded it with more than 250 early adopters from around the globe. These guys own the headsets, they own the accessories, and they're available on demand to provide thorough, concise feedback. The primary, the primary way that they do that is through deep play testing. So they record both what they're seeing in VR and then what they're doing via webcam, and then perhaps most importantly, they vocalize. Where are they delighted? Where are they confused or, God forbid, nauseous? In addition to the playtest recordings, we collect quantitative and qualitative feedback for each and every experience. So on the quantitative side, we have them rate things like the audio experience, the menu and the UI, the controls, their comfort level. And then qualitatively, we have them answer questions like, if you had a magic wand, how would you improve this experience? What did you like, dislike, what frustrated you? And then we tie the videos and the feedback together in a dashboard that gives teams the ability to kind of get an at-a-glance view of what's working and what's not, and then they can drill down into the specific user experiences that are make up, making up these high and low scores. The, uh, the feedback from the development community has been humbling and overwhelmingly positive. You know, we get emails every day about the value of the feedback, and we've seen developers take to social media to refer us to their peers. We are focused on games and entertainment, and working with more than 30 customers within those two verticals, developing a broad range of applications, everything from social VR to sports broadcasting, first-person shooters to family games. But you know, it's not just innovative startups and video game companies making this content. It's the biggest media companies and brands in the world. All of these guys are actively de developing for VR and they're only gonna continue to do so over the course of the next three to five years as the market takes shape and really explodes. 
a little bit about us. The company is co-founded by myself and Josh DeSeno. Uh, we met at a venture-backed online education startup in San Francisco. Josh was one of the first engineering hires at Justin TV and helped build Twitch, the world's largest video streaming service. My background is primarily in um, analytics and usability, as well as online community building and online marketing. And we're backed by an incredible group of advisors that understand disruptive hardware. Nat was the co-founder of Xbox. They understand the tools that developers use to make VR content, and they understand how to sell into teams of developers. The business model is quite simple. Um, we pay testers per test completed, and then we charge developers a multiple of that. But where it starts to get really interesting is that in practice, teams are using us as kind of part of their ongoing development practice. So with each new build, with each new iteration, with each new feature, they'll send us that build to get benchmarked data and feedback. You know, so all the way from prototype to release and beyond. We are first to market and exclusively focused on virtual reality, and we've seen this approach work quite well for other companies. Usertesting.com service the usability needs of web developers. They have more than 30,000 customers. Applause, which you might know as Utest, cater the usability needs of mobile developers. They're expected to IPO later this year or early next, and were recently listed on CB Insights list of billion dollar companies. Our vision is to be the go-to resource for testing and analytics as VR applications are developed across dozens of industries from tourism and education to healthcare and beyond. We are incredibly excited about the future of VR and the role that we can play in helping amazing content get made. And if that sounds exciting to you, we'd love to talk to you at our table or over beers now that we're done. Thanks. Yeah.